Hello, brother and sisters of the Briar. Professor Jeremiah here. Hope you're having a good week. been a busy week on my end and last evening I was at a fairgrounds and really interesting a lot of people there one thing that I noticed was how some people are just walking around in a daze I saw very few people really smiling even though it's the fair and you should be smiling but it's not just the fair I notice a lot of people today just as they're walking around the grocery store they just don't seem happy but one of the things that stood out to me at the fair, and, and I love watching people. I, I love just seeing how people go about their daily life. Uh, as, as a child growing up, when my dad and I would go to the grocery store with my mom and she would go in, we would sit in the car, my dad smoking his pipe, because it was legal back then, and uh, he'd be smoking his pipe and uh, we would, comment on the people coming in and out of the, the grocery store. And it's just fun. Uh, you know, we'd probably still be doing the same thing today, only today I would be joining him and partaking of the leaf. But what I noticed last night that was funny was there was a garden hose running across the ground, running to one of the vendor's stands, or a little concessions, and uh, as people with strollers, and I saw this four times, as people with strollers would run into the hose, they would just stop. And then they'd pull the stroller back and hit it again. And they would never look to see what they were hitting. They just kept hitting it and hitting it until they finally got over it. Incredible. And, and I thought, why not push down on the back of the buggy and lift it up and go over it? But they never even looked to see what they were hitting. And I think that that's such a picture of where society's at today that it's like you just, you run into a barrier and you just keep going until you can get over that barrier. And it's kind of sad in some ways, you know, notice what the barrier is, look at it. Eh, that's my commentary on society. <laughs> I, I, I think I think sometimes where we either hit, keep hitting the barrier or people are too quick to just give up. I know in our own community, it seems like half the videos I've watched the last uh, week or two have been on folks talking about the demonetization and, uh, you know, I, I don't really plan on monetizing my channel. If you ever see a commercial on my channel, it's not for me. It's because it was a copyrighted song or something. Uh, even the music that I play is supposed to be royalty free and I'll still see probably a third or a quarter of that music is flagged as copyrighted. It wasn't me as far as a commercial. I don't plan on monetizing. I'm not going to say I'll never do that, but I don't plan on it. Uh, that being said, <laughs> and I'm not saying this on the part of making money, but I did thing is I heard people talking about different options and uh, different things that they planned on doing in the future I thought well I'm kind of already doing one of those things but I've never really talked about it here on the Professor Jeremiah channel and that's it I have an eBay uh, channel which I post a few things from time to time probably half the items are pipe related I've never even mentioned that here. Uh, it's Old School Missionary. And right now I have two items. Uh, they're little pipe cleaner sleeves, leather sleeves that are for sale. This is one of them. This one's uh, brown with the black stitching. All leather, one piece leather. It's not two pieces. It's all one solid piece folded over. Uh, I will say some might would say they're a little bit on the high end. They are $18 a piece, but that is with free shipping. So by the time I purchase the leather, dye the leather, uh, stitch it, do all the work on it, and ship it uh, to you, it's, it's a little cost. Now, if it's out of the country shipping, there is a charge to that. 
but uh, they're eighteen dollars. Old school missionary. This is the black and with brown stitching. Uh, this is uh, black with brown stitching. I'm sorry, the other was brown with black stitching. So you can kind of see the two of them. Uh, I've had some others. Uh, currently, these are the only two that are up. Uh, I've had some others that have different patterns on them. Uh, those are a little less expensive. Uh, they're $16 each. I don't have any listed right now, but if you're really interested in uh, one of the tiger stripe ones, I can try to whip some out. And this one, uh, the leather is a little difficult for me to get right now. This is my personal one. This one's bison, buffalo hide. Uh, again, it's this is a thick, thick piece of leather. And you can see, this is my own personal. You see how many pipe cleaners I have stuffed in there. And what I do on my church warden pipe cleaners is I fold them over. And they fit down in there just fine as well. So on some of my pipes, like this semi-church warden here, I have to have this folded over. This is a road town. Wonderful smoker. This is its maiden voyage. I've got a little um, Irish cream. I forgot what I was smoking. <laughs> got some Irish cream in here. Sutliff blend. Irish cream, uh, it is a little bit of a moist tobacco. This one's been jarred up for a while, and I do cheat on um, my Irish cream. I take one of those staves out of the Frog Morton cellar, and I stick it down into the jar with this. And it had been jarred up for about a year, so it's, I mean, a little, tell a little difference than when I first got it. But if you don't like moist tobaccos, let this dry out, air out just a little bit, uh, and you should be fine. Uh, for me, it's a smooth smoke, low nicotine on it. But if you're interested in these little pipe cleaner holders, uh, they do come with 10 pipe cleaners a piece. And um, anyway, just uh, check out the channel. I do put up pipes every now and then. Uh, I've had uh, tens of tobacco that I've sold on there from time to time. So it's not like this is something new. It's it's a I've had my eBay um, uh, sellers market for a while. I just had never put it up on this channel. Anyway, brothers and sisters, hope that you have a good evening and God bless.